Hey everybody, uh, people have been asking me for an update video on my sailfin lizard and uh, here's Holy Diver right here, uh, chowing down on some mealworms I just put inside the bowl for him. Uh, Holy Diver is probably about uh, a little over two and a half years old now. Uh, head to tail probably, I don't know, about 14 inches right now I'd say Holy Diver is a female. Uh, males usually have browner banana colors and streaks of blue so uh, Holy Diver over here is 100% a female. Uh, I usually give her nice salads. Uh, she gets fresh fruit, strawberries, grapes. Uh, she really likes her sweets. Uh, right now she's just picking out a bunch of male worms that I dropped in the bowl. Nope, oh, there she goes for another one. Uh, these are gut loaded male worms. W once again, I buy bulk by the thousand. Uh, I leave my male worms in uh, rabbit food and uh, guinea pig food. You say, why rabbit, why guinea pig food? Well, that's because there's lots of hay and seeds and uh, little carrot chunks, all kinds of stuff that uh, male worms usually would nibble on in the wild. You know, they'd eat seeds, they'd eat grass, they'd, you know, chow down on anything really. So I really like to get them gut loaded. Uh, if you're going to feed insects, try not to do it right from the pet store because in the pet store, the insects really are only able to eat cardboard inside those tanks. They don't actually feed them. Every once in a while you get lucky and there's one that uh, maybe has a little potato in there. But uh, if you really want your lizards to be healthy and happy, you're going to make sure what you're feeding them has nice full guts full of goodness. Uh, we do have our basilisk in the back corner there. That's also a female basilisk. That's Lady Faye. Uh, I've had Lady Faye and Holy Diver living in the same terrarium now for about a year. Um, they get along great. Uh, recently, I've added an elevated basking branch right here next to the feeding stone uh, and put in a new 150 watt basking bulb so that if they want to, they can climb up to the top of the branch and really get that intense hot basking they need. Um, they love climbing on branches, sleeping on branches. Once again, this is a 50 50 setup. Uh, the land portion is over here. They got a bunch of rocks and branches. You got branches that stretch out over the water over here. And of course you get into the water and you got my tin foil barb and you also have a beautiful golden garami over here. Uh, my fish are my barometer for the tank. If the fish look nice and healthy, then I know the water is nice and clean. Of course the fish look amazing. They're in perfect health. The water is incredibly spotless. Uh, I got a 30 gallon filter pump in there. I got to increase the water level right now so it starts pumping a little bit better. That's just evaporation that happens. I have two heaters in here making sure the water stays a nice 80 degrees for the lizards so they get that jacuzzi feel. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, Holy Diver right here. Let's see if I can get you. There we go. It's Holy Diver right there. Enjoying his male worms, eating out. Uh, very healthy lizard, very, very beautiful. Love spending a lot of time in the water. Uh, nice strong legs from all the climbing inside the cage and the swimming. Uh, she did get her tail broken off when she was very young. Unfortunately, I would have liked for her tail to stay nice and large, but what can you do? Uh, the fin on the, the dorsal fin on the tail is really starting to come in. She's starting to get that nice broad tail now. And like I said, Holy Dive is a little over two and a half years old now. So she's really doing good for herself. Beautiful, beautiful eyes. Sorry about the fogginess on the tank. That's just the humidity inside the tank sticking to the glass. But yeah, um, so this is Holy Diver, who's very interested in what I'm doing right now. He's very curious. And this is Holy Diver. Hi, Holy Diver. And as you can see, they got their whole little setup back there. And of course, you got my little green basilisk, Lady Faye, back there. Uh, if you're wondering what Faye stands for, it's Farinaza. It's from the Berserker show. Uh, if you haven't watched it, it's a good show, Berserker. Uh, so that's Lady Farinaza. And then this is Holy Diver. And this is their whole entire setup over here. This is a 90 gallon 50-50 terrarium setup with a open screen top. Uh, about 30 gallons of water in it. And of course uh, fish to help clean up the uh, lizard waste inside the water. I mean I really don't feed the fish too often. They kind of just live off of uh, the feces from the lizards that are full of insects and vegetation. So it's uh, basically a whole ecosystem I've created. The fish clean up the lizard wastes and the lizards uh, help feed the fish. So there you go. If you, uh, I highly recommend this setup. If you don't have a ton of room and you're trying to have a sailfin lizard, I recommend nothing smaller than a 90 gallon. They really are large lizards. Uh, in the future, I'm probably going to upgrade it to a 150 gallon 50-50 uh, setup just to make sure she has plenty of room to be happy. Once again, this is Holy Diver.
beautiful lizard absolutely gorgeous perfectly healthy and this is lady Faye, also a very beautiful green basilisk very healthy she's she's an egg laying basilisk so she has she has laid eggs a couple of times already but anyways uh thank you guys for watching the video and uh hope you enjoyed it any more comments or questions please let me know thank you